Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News show. Let's begin with our news. Phil Jones sends strong message amid doubts over future at Manchester United. Speaking to the club's official website, Man United defender Phil Jones revealed his ambition for the future and hinted that he was here to stay despite not making too many appearances this season and ranking far behind in the pecking order in defense. Jones is one of the most senior players in the first team squad, having made the move to Manchester back in 2011 after impressing as a youngster at the Blackburn Rover. Along with David De Gea, he is the only remaining player to be part of Man United's last Premier League winning team. The Englishman said that his ambition is to try and play as many games as he could, saying that he knows he's ready for more action and capable of playing despite remaining on the sidelines for long due to injury. The defender has had a torrid time dealing with injuries of late, with the 30-year-old making a surprise return to the lineup when he started against Wolves in January. It was his first appearance for the club in almost two years, and he got warm applause from the Old Trafford crowd who cheered on the defender who made his comeback for the first team in the game. Jones, whose contract at the club expires in the summer of 2023, said that he wants more action and not just a one-off against Wolves, hoping that he could get more game time towards the end of the season and show people that he deserves to be at the theatre of dreams. Despite not making any more appearances since the game against Boro, which United lost, the Englishman has been a regular part of the matchday squad. He will be itching to get back out on the pitch again with a desire to prove that he's still capable of playing at the highest level. However, making an appearance in the top fly is easier said than done, with the stars like Maguire, Lindelof and Varane taking up the positions. Leeds United interested in Manchester United player James Garner Manchester United youngster James Garner is a summer transfer target for Premier League club Leeds United. The midfielder has been impressing for well over a year in the championship for Nottingham Forest. Recently, his team has been superb from finding themselves in the relegation zone at the start of the season to fighting for a playoff spot to be promoted in the last few weeks. Garner has been an integral part of the promotion hunting side since Steve Cooper's arrival at the end of 2021. He has scored three and assisted in six goals during his time at the club including finding the net with a couple of outstanding free kicks as well. According to the Daily Mail, Leeds are monitoring the current situation of James Garner with a possible summer transfer in mind. Man United could be looking to replace Nemanja Matic in the upcoming transfer window as the club continues their search for a quality defensive midfielder. Garner is a very capable of playing that role despite often featuring for Forrest in a more attacking role. The midfielder has faced top Premier League sides in the FA Cup this season, knocking out Arsenal and taking the Liverpool match to extra time. Jorgen Klopp spoke positively about Garner in an interview after the FA Cup match and was very complimentary about him. The outlet reports that despite a rivalry, United may consider a permanent transfer with the 21-year-old eagerly wanting to play every first team match he can. While a deal could be a long way from happening yet, Daniel James recently made the move to Leeds in the previous summer transfer window. United fans will be hoping Garner will stay and fight for his place in the first team after impressing this season. Manchester United defender Diogo Dalot wanted by Fiorentina in the summer. According to Italian outlet Firenze Ziviola, Manchester United defender Diogo Dalot has been eyed by Fiorentina in the summer, with the Serie A club looking for a loan move with an option to buy the player. The right back is currently spending the international break with the Portugal national team, helping them in their quest for a place in the World Cup in Qatar later this year. His club and country teammate Bruno Fernandes made sure of that, scoring a brace against North Macedonia in the crucial tie. Although, he did not feature in the game that sealed their qualification. He played the full 90 minutes in their previous win against Turkey last week. He will now return to Manchester to help United in their quest to finish in 4th place in the Premier League table. The Red Devils currently sit in 6th place and are in danger of missing out on a top 4 finish this season. Regardless of United's outcome in the league this campaign, Dalot may be set for a move abroad to Italy 
given Fiorentina's interest in the defender. The Italian side is eyeing up a loan move with an option to buy for the Portugal international, hoping to bolster their rear guard. The Serie A team are looking to offer the Manchester club a loan deal for the 23-year-old, which includes a clause of £8 million if they wish to make the deal permanent. Thus far, they have not made an official approach for the deal with either the player or the club. Dalot is quite familiar with Italy, having spent the entirety of the 2022-2021 season in Serie A playing for AC Milan on loan when he saw his appearances for the first team at Old Trafford is limited. Having returned to Manchester for the current campaign, the right back saw more action for the club under entry manager Ralf Ragnick than under his Norwegian predecessor. With Dalot making a successive run of appearances between December and February, However, his form during that period was not good enough to convince his new German boss that he was untroubable from the lineup, and since then, the player has managed just one league appearance in four games. Man United's chances of signing Darwin Nunes could hinge on next eight weeks. Manchester United's hopes of signing Benfica Darwin Nunes could evaporate if the Reds fail to secure Champions League qualification. The Telegraph report that the Red Devils and other Premier League clubs may struggle to sign the Uruguayan hotshot if Champions League football isn't assured. The 22-year-old is one of the most coveted players in European football and with 26 goals to his name this season, it looks like his time in Portugal is going to come to an end this summer. The Telegraph stated that Atletico Madrid, who knocked Ralf Ragnick's side out of the Champions League, are Nunes' most likely scenario. It's claimed that the Portuguese giants want at least £60 million for the eight-time Uruguayan international, who was signed for a club record of £20 million from Almeria in 2020. Nunes has four goals to his name in this season's Champions League, with his most recent being a winner against Eric Ten Hag's Ajax to set up a quarter-final clash against Liverpool. He also scored a brace against Barcelona and netted a consolation goal in the Allianz Arena against Bayern Munich. He's already shown his pedigree of scoring in the biggest stage and it's little wonder that United are keen to bring him to Old Trafford. It makes even more sense considering Nunes' veteran compatriot Edinson Cavani, who will leave as a free agent in the summer. But, in order for United to be considering a viable option for Nunes, things are going to have to dramatically change over the next 8 weeks. With 90 Premier League games remaining, Ragnik's man currently sit 4 points behind 4th placed Arsenal despite playing one game more. If we hope to lure Darwin Nunes to the theatre of dreams this summer, a huge upturn in form is required otherwise we look set to miss out on the South American star. Former Liverpool star Dirk Kuyt backs Manchester United managerial target Eric Ten Hag to do a great job at a top side. Speaking to goal, ex-Liverpool star Dirk Kuyt backed Ajax Amsterdam boss Eric Ten Hag to have a successful career at the top side in Europe amid links to become the next permanent manager of Manchester United. United are expected to bring in a new manager at Old Trafford next season when Ralf Ragnick completes his tenure as an interim boss in the summer. The Ajax boss is one of the leading candidates to be offered the job ahead of the new campaign and Kate was full of praise for him. Kate, who won a league cup with Liverpool, said that Ten Hag was a great coach who has tons of experience with the European clubs and has improved himself so much on and off the pitch. The 52-year-old head coach is currently busy leading Ajax to a third consecutive league title with the Dutch giant sitting on the top of the league table. Ten Hag has caught the attention of several sides for the impressive work he has done at Ajax, with the United already interviewing him earlier this month. However, it's said that the manager has spoken to two other European clubs that play regularly in the Champions League, while having a firm offer from one club that interests him. Kate said that he could see Ten Hag growing every week as a manager and believed that he could do a great job at any top side in Europe because his tactics and way of thinking about football is very interesting. It's plain to see why there is much hype and demand for Ten Hag given his rich trophy history in Holland and his reputation for playing progressive football. Apart from domestic success, the Dutchman also oversaw the incredible Champions League semi-final run that his side had in 2019. 
Ten Hag has apparently got an offer from other clubs, but at United, he stands to potentially make history by being successful at one of the biggest clubs in the world. The task is not easy, and there is nothing confirmed between the Ajax boss and the Red Devils, but if the head coach wants to take the next big step in his career, then Old Trafford possesses a very attractive option for him. I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.